Holy Wiremod here with tutorial 24b, where we're going to be continuing with file IO. So, if you recall, we searched for a file, stuff.txt, and we did all kinds of stuff. We wrote to it, read it. Now, let's actually create a directory. So, first we're going to check if this directory exists. So, we're going to say file exists. Now, you might say, okay, isn't that just for files? Well, no, you can check for folders as well if you don't include an extension with the name right here. Okay, so let's put data because we're checking in the data folder because that's where we're going to be writing to. And let's say we want to create this directory. And if it doesn't exist, it's going to be called stuff, and it's going to be in the data folder. All right, so now let's get some information from the data folder. Let's say we want all the target files and all the target folders. So we'll say target files, comma, and we're going to have target folders. Now this uh, comma right here is going to be so we can receive two types of tables from file find right here. Now file find helps us identify whatever we specify in the first string. So we can put an asterisk here and that's actually going to find everything located within the data folder. Now if we want to specify directory within the data folder we can do that too. We can say if we want to look in stuff and specifically for model files we can do that. So put MDL or text, and that works fine too. But we're just going to keep it asterisk now just to find everything in data. And also the last argument here is you can also sort the files by sending name. So we can say name is send. So, and then we also have descend as well. So we can put DESC for descend. And you can do that with time as well. So you sort it by time instead. So that's pretty useful, but we don't need to do that. But just so you guys know. All right. So. Let's then set it from stuff.txt right here for target file. We're going to set this to nil instead. And instead, we're going to find the target file, stuff.txt, in this table. So remember, this is returning two tables of data. So these are the files that are located in the data folder, and these are the folders located in the data folder. OK, so if we want to look through a table, we should, of course, utilize a loop. So we'll say for kv in pairs, just like this, and we're looking through target files. Now, let's say, let's say that we want to find the target file. So if target files, or I'm sorry, if v is equal to stuff.txt, then we find the file that we're looking for, and we'll say that target file is equal to v. All right, so now that we have all that, we can continue through as we did before, but let's add an else statement here. So what if the directory or file doesn't exist? So then if it does exist, if it doesn't exist, um, of course, do all this stuff. But if it does exist, we can actually open it. This is a good place to utilize the file.open command. So here we can say the target file. So that's the file we're going to be opening, of course. And then we're going to specify what kind of way are we opening? So what's our method of opening or mode that we're opening it in? So we can have read mode, we can have write mode, append, we can have binary read mode, and then we can have, uh, is it, I believe, uh, oh yes, right, right, binary write mode and binary append mode, which is AB. And then, of course, for the last argument, I'm just going to put read for here, we put the data folder. All right, now let's say we want to grab some information about this file, though. I know we can read the data from here, but let's do two more things. Let's say we want to get the size of the file, and we're going to get the time that it was last modified as well. And we're going to print that in chat. All right, so that's going to conclude everything except for one that I'm not going to run, but this is just good for you to know. We have file delete as well, and you just put the target file you want to delete, and it'll be in reference to the data folder automatically. But that's how you do that. Now, let's go into game and see what happens. Alright, so we are now in game. And as you can see in the console, it says our first line, oh yeah, right here. Now, we did have three errors I want to address really quick. So we had on line 27, forgot to put this parentheses right here. Then on line 36, I needed to put extra equation sign or equate sign. And then lastly, forgot to put this in print or quotations and also commented this out so we can look into our data folder and see that we have stuff.txt as usual and we also have the stuff folder and notice it's low, lowercase so when you actually want to look for it you should keep it lowercase that's something I should have mentioned
But anyway, everything's working good, though. Um, I hope that I explained everything with file extensions and I.O. and all that fun stuff. If you have any questions, feel free to leave some in the comment section below. As always, if you like the material, feel free to like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.